Hey folks, back in the game here. In this video, we're gonna go through one 2024 Top Series 2 hobby box. Stay tuned. So this is an interesting little box. Uh, the At the National, you could turn in, um, not turn in, you could go stand in line for a wrapper redemption, which is essentially they take your sealed hobby box. In this case, it would have been 2024 um, tops. Uh, and then they open it, essentially break the seal uh, so you can't resell it and then give you a, a pack of cards uh, to go with it uh, and you get your box back. Uh, so this, this dealer, uh, so, so let me start off by saying uh, most of these were priced higher than I wanted to pay. Most of the uh, series two there, I knew you could use them for the wrapper redemption. I didn't buy any. Uh, however, some, some dealer set up at the show would go and take a case and get that case open. And then they would sell the boxes, the, the unsealed boxes uh, for way, way less because um, number one, they got the pack they could sell. Uh, and number two, you know, it's no longer a sealed product quote unquote sealed product. Um, so anyway, I got this for like 70 bucks. Uh, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, you know, th there's, there's a risk that this was somehow opened and searched, uh, and it wasn't really a wrapper redemption. I think that's pretty unlikely. Uh, so anyway, um, I was kind of excited to get it, uh, for that price. So, uh, let's go ahead and open it and see what we get. Uh, this is the silver pack. I always open the special packs first. Uh, so that's Parker Meadows, Rookie, Ma uh, Hanley Ramirez, Volpe. Oh, 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 look at that. Jose Canseco. Wow. That's awesome. Number one, I've never received an autograph from a silver pack before, so that's great. That, that won't count towards my autograph or... Um, mem in this box so with any luck we get two autographs uh but that's cool i i know you, you can get them like one every 20 packs or so but i've never gotten one so that's awesome uh and i think jose is a fairly uh popular uh autograph to get so i'm kind of excited about that that's great all right so we get what do we get in this uh Say 20 packs per box, 12 cards per pack. Uh, I think I probably have this set already made, so I'm not really looking at the base um, too much. I am very excited that uh, we're not going to have to deal with stars of the MLB because this is a hobby product. So I'll just stop for anything I see that's exciting. Uh, other than that, we'll take a look at the hits in the back. Soto. All right. city to city cards in there all right and something backwards great oh wait is that the city to city that's backwards probably oh no all right so first we have vladdy city to city uh okay this is a different back so i assume this is the uh vintage stock it is, so that's a vintage stock, Trevor Larnock, Larnach, I don't remember. I, I heard somebody pronounce it the other day and I was like, oh, I better remember that. And then I didn't remember it, sorry. So that's numbered to 99. So that's our first numbered card. So I'd like one of the short print rookies. I haven't gotten one of those from series two yet. Around the Horn, Jung Hoo Lee. Hmm. 
now hit in that pack that I saw. This feels a little thicker. This is probably our mem. And we didn't get in our, oh, yeah, maybe. Okay. All right. All right, so this backwards, it is numbered, so I don't know what, ah, there we go. It is a red, uh, red ice, a red foil board. Uh, Jason Hayward, cool, to 199. Sandy Koufax, that's cool. I don't know that I have any Sandy Koufax cards. I'm not really a vintage collector, so that's, um, boy, that was uh, that was eye-opening how much vintage there is at the National, holy moly. I, uh, I knew there'd be a lot, but it was, it was much more than I was expecting, so uh, it's a really good place for uh, vintage collectors, for sure. Maybe that was a short print. Doesn't look like it. This pack also feels thick. Doesn't look like it's a mem though. So hopefully we're still on track for an autograph. Two packs in a row with no, no hit. And, you know, I, I don't like it when it's just a stars of the MLB hit uh, in retail, but I also don't like it if there's nothing in the pack in, in hobby either. Um, you know, throw me a, throw me an insert or something in there. Not these inserts. These suck around the horn. Worst insert I've seen for a long time, to be honest. Uh, in baseball, at least. I don't really understand that. They don't look good. Um, and I'm guessing, like most inserts, they carry zero value. Uh, but if I, you know, if there was one of those that was Frank Thomas, let's say, um, who is my PC, I, I probably wouldn't care. It's just not, it's not a compelling card is all. Another one with nothing in it except that sweet Yamamoto. This one at least has an 89 All Star in it. That is Jazz Chisholm. Mike Trout, PCA. He's not doing that great. Uh, or ha isn't up until the point I'm recording this. I'm recording this probably well before you see it because I, I bought a lot of boxes at the National. Uh, but anyway, I was looking up some stats and he's not, not really doing that well. There's a Caminero. 
There we go. There is our autograph, which is very interesting uh, that it's on an 89. I haven't seen one of those yet. Uh, leads the major leagues in batting average, but that is one crappy signature, Mr. Kwan. Uh, okay. I mean, that's a, that's a nice little, nice little autograph. It's probably a little better around here where I live because, um, the Indians, uh, the guardians are, uh, not the closest, but, um, close to the closest team here. I live in Columbus. Cincinnati is slightly closer. Um, but I, I know way more guardians fans than Reds fans, but that's probably, uh, uh, a factor of how bad the, the Reds have been for a long time until the last couple of years. Uh, Tatis. Gunner Cup card. Imanaga. All right, so this must be what? A silver? A rainbow foil? Only one so far in the box. That's interesting. I would like to see a gold foil come out of here. A gold to 2024, whatever those are called. Just gold, I think. I generally get one of those in a hobby box, I think. Covering the field. Kerstad. There is a pick a uh, home run challenge. Uh, pick a game for a shot to win. Uh, I've, I've been doing those. I've not been doing well on them, uh, but I've, I've definitely been doing them. Uh, so I will enter that in and see what I get. I have a, a few waiting. And I've got a few winners that uh, have not arrived yet. All right, this is, uh, what are these called? Oh, significant statistics, right? Okay, and last pack. So, you know, I think that's a fairly good box just because of the autographs. Um, everything else is sort of meh, but uh, I, I think both of those autographs are pretty good. There's a gold. Great. Give me something good. Bang! Luis Severino. So those are numbered to 2024. 20, and then this is a rainbow foil of Josh Rojas. All right. Uh, give me a second, folks. I'm going to get the hits together. I'll be back to show them to you. All right, folks. These are the hits for one 2024 uh, Top Series 2 Hobby Box. So out of the silver pack, we got the Jose Canseco autograph. Then we got the uh, Stephen Kwan autograph on the 89. Jason Hayward to 199. Trevor Larnock, Larnach to 99. Severino to 2024. And then we got a rainbow foil of Rojas and Maldonado. All right, folks, if you're new here, please uh, click subscribe. I always appreciate a like and a comment on my videos, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.